There are few things in the world that will shock you more than being told that you have cancer. Now, apart from the treatment, have you ever thought, how would I deal with it? How in the world would I keep it together? Well, a young Lockport couple has faced that very same question. This was something that God was calling me to, um, to walk through. Anna and Tim Wasson are on a journey they never expected to take. And I was I literally stunned. It was like, you know, they talk about shell shock and that's kind of how I felt. Doctors at Roswell Park had just told them Anna has lung cancer. She wasn't feeling well last spring with what she thought was a bout of seasonal allergies and a cough that would come and go. But after working a couple 12-hour nursing shifts in July at Millard Suburban, she knew something was up. And um, after that second shift that I worked, I woke up the next day and I just, I overall just felt awful. I felt very, very sick and just like something was wrong. An x-ray and a CAT scan showed a mass on her lung. A week later, they learned it was stage four. Anna has never smoked and has no other risk factors. First thought that comes into your head is? They have the wrong person, you know, that this has to be a mistake. And it was just, okay, this is somehow our lives now. This is completely surreal. And, and then you move on to, oh, geez, what are we going to do? How are we going to tell the kids and, and all that? The Wassons have been married for 17 years. They met as teenagers through their church youth group. And today they have four beautiful kids, Cooper, Elena, Callie, and little Levi. And when it comes to their mom's illness, Tim told them their strength would be their faith. I said, you know, you guys have been going to church with mom and dad all this time. Now this is time for you to take the faith and make it your own. Um, trusting God through this whole thing. It's the only way we're going to make it through this. God's got her and he's going to get her through this. The nurses working at Millard Suburban know Anna Wasson well. She is the kindest, most genuine person you could ever meet, um, selfless, and um, just the most compassionate nurse. She's just the best. She's the sweetest thing ever. Caring for people in need is second nature for these healthcare heroes, so they organized a basket raffle as a way to show their support for a colleague and friend they truly love. We have to take care of patients and then we have to take care of each other. If you asked her, she would say, don't do anything. And they are really handed it over to God. Unfortunately, that this is my path, um, and I don't understand it completely, but um, I also um, trust him completely, and um, he's just shown me so many beautiful things that um, have given me peace and have given me the strength. One of those beautiful things is a scripture passage that Anna's sister shared right after her diagnosis. It's the Apostle Peter trying to walk on the water, Christ telling him he can do it if he ignores the turbulent seas and instead keeps his eyes fixed on him. And um, that night, my little four-year-old had his little children's Bible by his bed and he said, Mom, I love this story. And he showed me the picture and it was Peter walking on water. And he said, see, Jesus said, look at me and, and you'll walk on water. It was, that was a gift to me to be able to just say that, you know, confirmation that that's what he's saying. And look up here, look at me, because you can't do it alone, but I will help you. Well, the fundraiser that Anna's co-workers have organized at Millard Suburban is closed to the public, unfortunately, because of COVID, but they are happy to accept any donations. So you can find some links and phone numbers telling you how to do that. It's posted in this story on our website. And there's also a link to Anna's Caring Bridge. If you'd like to write some encouraging words or offer prayers, they appreciate mm -hmm. both. And Scott, you and I have both had family and friends who are battling cancer and having a strong faith like Anna and Tim do can really help someone when they're on a cancer journey. Strong faith and she has a strong family behind her too. And mm -hmm. I know her theme is eyes on him, right? Right, eyes on yeah. him, all inspired of course by uh, her little son, Levi, Cute. showing her what a coincidence or a God moment as some people like to say, but it's yeah. really sustaining them through this difficult time. Ooh.